Now, while many Americans are struggling and out of work, Congress has decided to take a little break, at least for two weeks. They work, too, they work hard too, right? So they do deserve a short recess, but there's a catch. Because more than 200,000 laid off workers could lose access to unemployment benefits this week because Congress has failed to pass an extension on several programs that expire today, including emergency unemployment compensation. So, what could this mean for hundreds of thousands of Americans? And how does politics come into play here? Well, joining me to discuss is Gerald Salente. He's the director of the Trends Research Institute. So, Mr. Salente, Congress is out. So many people unemployed, depending on this legislation. What will this mean for people who may lose these benefits? Well, these people are already struggling, so it's going to be very difficult for them. But let's look at there are a number of elements to this. Number one is that. How long can Congress keep extending benefits when they have, you know, they're running out of money with trillions going to too big to fail? You know, a couple of pennies going to the other people might stretch the budget. So uh, those are things to to consider. And also, you know, Congress is the red carpet crowd. They're now on vacation. They're going to foreign countries, and you know, they, anywhere they go, they roll out the red carpets. And strike up the band, so the Congress is really detached from what's going on with the average person. Considering the style and comfort that they're living at, they really don't feel the pain of the average person. So, are they going to be held accountable? I mean, is the average person, like you say, going to sort of undetach them? I mean, I mean, what is going to go on here, especially when we look at the 2010 elections? Well, again, who do you vote for? You, you, it's it's a two-headed, one-party system. So, what are they going to do? They really don't have a choice. You know, I remember when I was a kid, and I used to hear about the former Soviet Union, and they say, oh, they had an election there. You know, 98 percent of the people got reelected, and they laugh about it. Well, it's the same thing in the United States. 96 percent of the incumbents get reelected. So, the people really don't have much of a choice, but. Keep your eye open on this for this April 15th coming up tax day. You're going to start seeing more and more protests and and a lot of demonstrations. So that's how the people are going to、uh, vent their anger. And we will see bigger changes coming probably around 2012. We're forecasting a new third party. Let's make the conversation a bit more broad.、Uh, you mentioned this earlier, but I want to consider what this could mean for the U.S. management, or in this case, perhaps mismanagement of the U.S. economy, specifically the recovery efforts. When you do, as you said, have so many people dependent on these unemployment benefits, dependent on Congress to do something about their situation. If they fall through the cracks, Congress really doesn't care. Look at the effect of unemployment rate. It's around 17 percent, and again, they only pay lip service to this. The people don't have right now an alternative to go to. Go back to 2006. The war is going on. The Iraq War was going on very heavily. The people voted out the Republicans to end the war. The war is still going on. The Democrats are in. So they really, there's nothing. That the average person could do in this situation right now, until again, as we start seeing more demonstrations take place, and that's going to bring about the change. So you think that there will, in fact, be、uh, more people getting up and doing something about it? But also, some people have called this a political game. You know, passing this legislation, not passing this legislation, between Democrats and Republicans. I want you to elaborate on that as well. Well, of course, it's a political game, as I said. The only thing that they're interested in is saving the too big to fails. The little people could wait for their paychecks, so they, of course they're playing it back and forth. Because when you see who gets the money, both the Republicans and the Democrats are financed by Wall Street, so Main Street could wait their turn. And it is a political football. One will blame the other. The other will blame the other. But in the end, nothing will happen. Very little will happen. And again, you know, there's going to have to be a time when they have to pull the plug on all of these bailouts and all of this stimulus. And when they do, you're going to start seeing the economy 
even on Wall Street, begin to unravel. So are you saying that Americans should consider perhaps third-party candidates? I mean, what is the solution here for, as you said, all those little people who are collecting their unemployment checks? It has to be a third party. The, the, the two-party system isn't, isn't there for the people. They represent the special interests that pay them the most. So what we're forecasting, we're forecasting actually, we're calling it the Internet candidate. We're going to see something we believe, we're forecasting, in 2012 that will really begin to change the system as the way it is now. It can't go on like this with so many people losing so much and so few getting so much. Gerald Salente, always good to have your analysis. Thank you very much.